We don't believe in solving technology problems for the sake of solving technology problems. It always has to have a further business driver that says, hey, cloud is gonna enable this. We believe that cloud is a continuum. You're gonna start with where your data is. You have to look at where it's gonna sit and how I go from edge to cloud to be able to support the needs of that data in that application. As Accenture, in the past, we would go in and help a client with their business problem. Now we're using infrastructure to solve the business problem. So relationships with the ecosystem provider is important. Our relationship with Intel is fundamental to a lot of what we do. We optimize around their technology and take that to market. Likewise, we work with the, the cloud service providers and the private cloud providers to help people as well. Julie Sweet, our CEO, is, goes on record oftentimes as saying, cloud is the enabler, data is the driver, AI is the differentiator. So cloud sits underneath all of this. Cloud is not just about the technology change. I have to get up and Susie or Bob or I will get up and do something different than they did on Tuesday when they get up on Wednesday because they have a new infrastructure, a new set of tools that allow them to go innovate. So it's allowing businesses to create competitive differentiation using new tools, new ways to do businesses in the cloud that enable me to become a services oriented business versus becoming a product oriented business. Johnson Controls, our client here in the Midwest, is a great example of that. They went to the process of activating their intelligent edge, right? So they're looking to drive competitive solutions into market around their the building control systems and industrial control systems and be able to allow clients to drive a green agenda by being able to regulate and control power improving security, improving safety. And then on top of that, they're building new services and new unlocking new revenue streams to take to their clients that they didn't have before when they dropped the box in there and, and, and attached it to a variety of sensors and control systems. And now I'm being able to add services on top of that flexible infrastructure that I'm building on the back end. Our work with the, our vendors becomes more and more important than ever. How can I enable people that didn't do 20 years of study of Cobalt and C++ to be able to write meaningful applications rapidly in an open environment? And so the tools, the technology underlying that allows continuous improvement, allows for ease of use, and allows for, like in our effort with Intel around One API, you write code once and now I can optimize forever as new processors come out or new technologies come out that I can snap in underneath that. And I have a common API that allows me to be able to take advantage of the latest technology. I've seen some subtle changes in, in our approach. And one of the most recent ones that we've been kind of writing a ton about, I've written some think pieces about this recently, is the concept of cloud as a continuum. It's not just public, it's not just private, it's not just the network in between them, it's, a, it's not the edge, it's the continuum of that. And how do I drive dispositioning throughout that continuum to be able to allow clients to be able to put their applications near the data and be able to go solve business problems and create new offers together. Well, I have to be able to have all those devices talk to each other, understand each other, pass data in a, in a controlled fashion and be able to kind of move data throughout that. To having that unified point of view around what the operating environment, operating system is that ties that together is a critical place where we're making investments to work with our clients on a, several of the different uh, approaches that are out there. You have a telco provider that recognize the fact that, hey, in the future, my networks have to be more scalable and flexible than they are currently, right? As you look at 5G type data speeds, and I have a football stadium, you know, yesterday there was nobody there. Tomorrow, there's gonna be 75,000 fans there, all taking pictures, sending stuff to each other, et cetera. And so my network, I could either build to the top capacity, and it's, I've just got tons of iron in the ground, not doing anything, or I build a thin edge that can collect the data and build massive processing behind that in a network that allows me to be able to consume that and shift resources to where I need in, inside my 5G network. They were able to achieve this flexible network built on the cloud to be able to scale up, scale down as they needed to, to be able to address those incoming needs of connectivity, of speed to data, and do that at a lower cost, 
be able to develop faster and create new services faster and create increased flexibility in their network so they could service their clients. Banking is another industry that's gone through massive digital change. I think of an example of Mina Bank in Japan, which um, is a wholly owned subsidiary bank of a classic brick and mortar bank that came and said, hey, we need to build a digital interface to our customers. And they rebranded and built from the ground up a brand new digital bank through the pandemic to be able to help their clients be able to bank where they couldn't go to a teller or they didn't want to go to a teller where they didn't want to go to a cash machine, they wanted to be able to go do an app-based bank. And so we helped them in the process of standing up that business. By the way, part of that is that 50% of the people in that bank are engineers. Think about that. That are driving the technology, that are driving new application development, that are driving the services that their clients need. And they're able to listen to their clients, bring new applications, new capabilities very, very quickly because they're built on a cloud that allows for rapid, scalable de development. Accenture helped them in the process of building an agile approach to how they do development, train their people, and we help with some of the development ourselves. I think the things that I'm most excited about is how do I, what are the new services I can build? And so now you're starting to move from talking about, well, you need 400 of these and 300 of these to, all right, what does your client need? And how do we go build something that solves that problem and that that is how my brain works so i get up every day enthused to be able to sit down with my client and start thinking through all right how do we enable you to do business better or solve problems you have and the cloud part becomes almost an assumed at some point in time along the way i'm jason mitchell and i'm responsible for our cloud business in the high-tech industry